Right, so today I'm going to be preparing a Propex heater for installation, but because it's got some rust around the intake and exhaust, where it looks as though the previous owner didn't quite have the uh, the pipes secure enough, some of the gases must have been corroding around the metalwork, so I'm going to be treating this with some corrust. I've used this before on a sliding door. It's a rust treater. It will convert rust into a more solid type of metalwork again. Uh, prevent any further rust coming through. So I'm currently using uh, just some wire brush attachments on the drill just to scrape back all the pa uh, metal work and uh, all the paint work to as close to bare metal as possible. So I'm going to be applying some of that and then giving it uh, a coating just with additional hammerite paint on the bottom as well and uh, you'll be able to see the reaction to the metal when I apply the corrust. It's good stuff for stopping rust. Uh, it's a proper rust inhibitor so any type of rust work you've got on the vehicle anywhere really uh, you just grind it back as rid of as much of the surface rust as possible so as I say I'm going to continue grinding this back a bit further you can use flap discs or whatever but uh, because this is a bit uh, of an awkward space that's why I'm just using the wire brush attachment so we'll get this back to as close to bare metal as possible give that an apl uh, application and I'll film uh, watching it basically turn from rusty metal to solid metal So that's all of the uh, rust pretty much all gone. It's down to as flat and smooth uh, metalwork as I can pretty much get. There's a little bit of pitting still in parts of it, but uh, it's down to a good metal that will now be able to be treatable with the uh, corrust stuff. So I'm going to get a little paintbrush out, uh, apply it round here. As I say, I'll probably leave the camera rolling when I apply it. It'll take probably about 10-15 minutes to see the reaction. I'll speed the reaction up, but uh, it'll still take a while. But It'll be handy just to actually film film it from start to finish, just to see the metal turning from a silver to a purpley brown, and that'll show that it's actually uh, taken a reaction to any remaining rust that's in it, uh, inhibits any further rust growth, and it will then be paintable and uh, protected for the future. So I'm going to brush out, start painting this, try and get it in a better position where you can actually see the colour change, and uh, get it going. Start to see a reaction pretty quickly.
you can see that's now starting to react really nicely with uh, the bare metal and the pitted metal work that was left. You can see it's turning bluey black uh, just as it's supposed to, so that's going to be giving the metal work a really nice paint uh, coating. I'm just going to wipe down the excess now and then leave it for another, for about an hour or so, something like that in total. take all of the uh, excess runny stuff off there all the main metal work I'm still going to be leaving to react and that's going to be just left for another hour or so now and uh, then it'll be good for painting right so that's the hammerite crust that's been left to dry it's been drying for over an hour now and you can see how it's turned fully bluey black where it's came into contact with any sort of oxidization in the metal work so that's going to be giving it a nice protective layer all the way around where I've uh, ground back with the wire brush to as bare metal as I could get. So now there shouldn't be any further rust trying to bubble through in any of the treated areas. And now this is ready for paint, so I'm just going to give it a quick slap over of some hammerite on the bottom. Uh, I've only got black hammerite, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be the base of the unit anyway, so it's not going to be visible. And uh, I'm going to coat over and get the unit ready for fitting. And that's it, painted and treated. Uh, all the paint's nice and dry now. I say it's a nice thick layer of hammerite that I've put on there. Uh, so I say it's got a full layer of that hammerite crust protecting the metalwork beneath it. Now it's got a nice thick layer of hammerite on any of the exposed bare metal that was there before, uh, covering that as well. So thankfully, I managed to catch that in time before it started to do any sort of uh, damage to the metalwork on it and that should stop any further ingress of any rust or any sort of uh, advancement of anything that was there anyway so now the unit is ready to be fitted